So we have all heard about diabetes and insulin. What many of us don't know is that insulin was discovered almost exactly 100 years ago from this date. So what exactly is insulin? And what is diabetes, the disease it is used to treat? Diabetes was mentioned as early as 1500 BC in Egyptian manuscripts. It was characterized by high volumes of urine production. Indian physicians called it matumeha, or honey urine, as it attracted ants. The two types of diabetes, type 1 and type 2, were also identified very early on. Recognised for at least the past three millennia, the first complete description of the disease is attributed to Aratheus the Cappadocian, who coined the term diabetes. The term mellitus was coined by the British Surgeon General John Rollo in 1798 to distinguish its sweet-tasting urine from the other type of diabetes, diabetes insipidus, where the urine was tasteless. Coming to more recent times, we meet Paul Langerhans in 1869, who first identified the cells of the pancreas, known as the islets of Langerhans. Later on, in 1889, von Merig and Minkowski found that when the pancreas was removed in dogs, it led to diabetes. It's very important to recognise the role of others who were also involved in insulin's discovery. The role of insulin in diabetes was only conclusively established by Banting, Best and Collip while they were working in McLeod's laboratory in 1921. They ligated or sealed the pancreatic ducts, thus destroying the exocrine pancreas, while leaving the endocrine islets of Langerhans intact. Additionally, through their elegant experiments in the University of Toronto, they used canine insulin to reverse induced diabetes, thus successfully establishing the role of insulin in diabetes. Insulin is a hormone released by the islets of Langerhans into the bloodstream. It acts like a key to let sugar into cells for it to be used, therefore lowering blood sugar, and its deficiency was the cause of diabetes. James Collip, a biochemist, worked with the group to purify insulin so that it would be safe enough to test on humans. With his help, a more concentrated and pure form of insulin was developed from the pancreas of cattle. On the 11th of January 1922, Leonard Thompson, a 14-year-old boy suffering from type 1 diabetes, became the first person to receive an injection of insulin. While this was a partial success, Colin worked harder to further purify insulin. Leonard's second injection on the 23rd of January was a complete success, where his blood sugar levels returned to normal. Before 1921, anyone who was diagnosed with type 1 diabetes that lived for more than a year or two was considered an exception. Insulin was one of the biggest medical discoveries of the 20th century and is still being used to treat diabetes to this day.